Hello people of the internet, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to film my current favorites because quarantine is boring and without some of these favorite things I would be quite bored. So I wanted to share these things with you guys so that you can enjoy them as much as I have been. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that I want to show you guys is actually a lip combination. Um, I've never been a lipstick person. I just like don't really feel like it looks good on me and I could never find like a color that worked well until I watched Kristen John's um, current favorites video a while back and she actually used this exact lip combination and I feel like this kind of sounds weird but I feel like we have the same color like natural lip and when I go for like lipsticks I want to want something that looks like my natural lip color but like better if you know what I'm saying so I decided to try out what she recommended and I love it so it's the MAC lip pencil in spice and then this buxom like chubby lip lip bomb lipstick type thing it's like a lipstick but it's like sheer -er. so it's like this nude color and it matches my lip color like perfectly it's like a little bit more coral than my lip color and then this lip pencil is like a little bit darker than my lip color so then when you put them together it looks like this it's what i'm wearing on my lips today and it's just kind of like my lips but better and i really really love this so shout out to kristen johns so my next beauty favorite that i have is this ColourPop concealer and um it's the pretty fresh hyaluronic creamy concealer and it has hyaluronic acid in it which um is like more hydrating and i have really dry skin and especially my under eyes are really really dry so i thought i would try this out and it was nine dollars which for, for a concealer is so cheap i think um and i really really like it a lot i got the shade medium 90w it's a good shade for me right now it's dark enough um to match my tan but it's also light enough to brighten my under eyes so i highly recommend it is cheap and it's also really great quality it doesn't crease under my eyes as much as other concealers so my next favorite has to be essie nail polishes i've always loved essie nail polishes but I don't know how long ago it was they came out with this like gel formula so you buy the um color and they have like a gel top coat which i also have um and these two colors i have specifically been loving this one is oh this is pre-show jitters it's like it's like a really 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 light pink but on the nails it kind of comes off white which i really like i like a good white nail polish but also it can in some lighting look light pink so i really really love that light pink is like my favorite color ever and then i got an actual light pink and this one is in gossamer garnet garments gossamer gossamer garments i have no idea but i will link these down below and i love them a lot i wish i was wearing them on my nails today so but these two nail polishes have been a major fave recently. So the next category I want to go into is fashion favorites, which are always my favorites. Um, I have been, I'm always an online shopper, but especially since we like can't go to real stores right now, I've been online shopping even more. And I think I want to film like a online shop with me video because I get a lot of questions about like where I shop, like how I shop on a budget, all that kind of stuff. So if you want to see that, definitely let me know because I think that would be kind of a fun, different video to film. Um, but I've found some products that I really, really love that like I've never discovered before or like rediscovering and stuff like that. And I've had a lot of fun with it. So I want to share those with you. First thing I want to talk about is Zara jeans. I've never tried Zara denim before. I've always had like Abercrombie, um, American Eagle, like all the typical brands of denim that people buy. And denim just like 
doesn't work for me like i've had such a hard time finding like jean shorts or jeans that like really look good on me because i've really really short legs but then like a small waist and like no butt so like finding jeans that fit every area of me like it's really hard i feel like a lot of people have that issue as well but these zara jeans never tried them before but i got these jean shorts they're like mom jean shorts super wrinkly right now but the waist fits perfectly and then they're just like really baggy like shorts on the thighs and on the butt area and like cutest color ever amazing quality denim like i love these so so much they are so cute and i highly recommend and they were only like 35 to 40 dollars i don't really remember but like for good quality denim that's i think pretty good um because like american eagle is like 50 dollars they remind me of like levi jeans and those are like a hundred dollars so i definitely recommend these zara jeans i'll link these exact shorts below and then i also got a pair of mom jeans with like rips in them and those fit amazing as well so i'll try and link those for you guys too the next fashion favorite i want to talk about is bikinis because it is officially bikini season and i have been struggling at trying to find some cute bathing suit last summer and like the summer before that i bought a lot of zaffle bikinis um because they're just cheap and you know everyone was buying them they were like all the rage and after i feel like after victoria's secret swim line like when like they stopped doing their swimwear um a lot of people were like where am i supposed to buy my bathing suits now so everyone turned to zoffel and i personally just don't have the best experience with zoffel like some of the bathing suits i bought are amazing like love them such good quality but then a majority of the ones i've bought like only last me a summer and then they like fall apart and they're not they don't fit me well i don't know so i guess for me personally i would rather buy a bathing suit that's like a little bit more expensive that will last me multiple summers so pack sun i've always liked their swimwear but i think recently their swimwear line has just been like like really really good so they don't restock which is the annoying part so if you like a bikini like buy it then and now like don't leave it in your shopping cart because it goes so fast um but their swimmer is so cute and they come out with like new collections like every week or so so definitely be on the lookout i think their bathing suits are so cute so i've gotten a few um this is one of them it's this orange tie bikini with some little flowers on it which i think is really cute it's just like a little teeny tiny top and it just has like one strap in the back and it has a little bow and i think it's really cute and also nice to tan in and i really like this color so they have they have a ton of options and they're like 20 bucks for the top and 20 bucks for the bottom so it's not the cheapest but it's also not that bad and they also are having a lot of discounts recently so i highly recommend i think their bathing suits are really really cute the next fashion thing i want to talk about is something very unexpected i think um abercrombie is a place i haven't shopped in a very very long time and i would only buy their jeans and stuff like that and even even those i haven't bought in a really long time but i stumbled upon their website and their stuff right now is so cute the top i'm wearing right now is from abercrombie it's like this little floral little like lemons on it little cuff sleeve i think it's absolutely adorable and i've purchased a few other things from there just check out the website i think you'll be so surprised like i was they got rid of their like moose logo on everything so now when you buy something it's not like in your face that you bought it from abercrombie um, I will say though the prices haven't changed. It's still really expensive, but they also are having discounts as well. I think every place is having sales right now. 
but yeah i was pleasantly surprised it's a place i haven't shopped in a really long time so if you're looking for a new place and you're like tired of the same places you've been shopping check out abercrombie you might be pleasantly surprised Okay, so moving on to my last category, I have some lifestyle random favorites like that. And the first thing I wanna talk about again was something I got from Kristen John's favorites video, but she kept talking about these pens. And I was like, okay, they're pens. Like, yeah, they're really cute, but like how great can they be? Like, they're just pens. But I ended up caving because she always talked about them and I was like, all right, I could use some new pens. Let me give it a try. They're just in these, uh, this like adorable pastel color. There's like a blue one, a green one, purple, pink, and yellow. And they're just like such cute colors. And the nice thing about them is they're like soft grip. So I don't know. I just really like that. And they write so well. That's the thing that she would always talk about. And I like didn't really understand what she meant but they really do they have such like a fine tip and like you can just get the perfect lines and i do really like them and they connect to my next favorite i want to talk about i bought these two things together so i bought the pens and then this journal that i have been loving i think it's the cutest pattern it's kind of like a canvas material and then it has all these flowers on it and stuff like that and it's what i'm reading my favorites out of um I made like a list in here and I've been writing down video ideas, like outfit ideas, pictures I want to take, um, things I need to remember, stuff like that. And I've been writing it all down in here and with my pens and I've just really enjoyed journaling and writing stuff down lately. I'm such like a pen to paper girl. I don't really like to use technology that much to like write stuff down or like to-do list and stuff like that so i've really been loving these things they're both from amazon so i will link them down below if i can find them so the next random favorite i have are these workout bands um also from amazon they're called let's fit resistance bands and again i'll link them down below if i can and they came in hang on they came in a pack of three, so um, this one is like the easiest resistance, this is medium, and the purple is the hardest, which I can't even use, like this thing <laughs> does not stretch, it's so hard to use, but maybe I'll work myself up there. But I either use the green or the pink typically, and I like them a lot, they have these like little grippies on the inside so they don't slip down your legs when you put them on. And yeah, I've been enjoying working out more than usual. So um, yeah, I've been liking these resistance bands a lot and they were pretty cheap. So woohoo. All right, so I do have a book favorite um, and I've been reading a lot in quarantine, but my friend recommended this book to me. I love book recommendations, so if you have any, comment them down below. This book is called One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus, and it's really, really good. I will read you the little inside cover so you can get a sneak peek. On Monday afternoon, five students at Bayview High walked into detention. Browen, the brain, is yell bound and never breaks a rule. Addie, the beauty, is the picture-perfect homecoming princess. Nate, the criminal, is already on probation for dealing. Cooper, the athlete, is the all-star baseball pitcher. And Simon, the outcast, is the creator of Bayview High's notorious gossip app. Only Simon never makes it out of that classroom. Before the end of detention, Simon's dead. And according to investigators, his death wasn't an accident. On Monday, he died, but on Tuesday, he planned to post juicy reveals about all four of his high-profile classmates, which makes all four of them suspects in his murder. Or are they just the perfect pasties, the perfect patsies for a killer who's still on the loose? Everyone has secrets, right? What really matters is how far you would go to protect them. I'm still reading it. I'm like more than halfway through, but it's got lots of twists and turns. The best way I can describe it is like Breakfast Club mixed with 
Pretty Little Liars, <laughs> but I like it a lot. It's very interesting and it's one of those books you can't really put it down and you just want to like keep reading and reading and reading. So definitely recommend this. All right, so for show favorites, because obviously I've been watching a lot of TV as well, who isn't? Um, I've watched so many shows, like so many shows in one sitting. I'll just watch the entire season. But I think my favorite and the one that I'm most addicted to is Love Island. It's just entertaining. And also, it's kind of cute. Like, I feel like The Bachelor, like, isn't really cute. It's more like drama. But Love Island is, like, kind of cute. And sometimes I, like, watch it and cry a little bit because it's so cute. You can watch it on Hulu. I like the UK version. I think their accents are just very entertaining and fun. So last but not least, we have music favorites. And you might think I'm biased, but it really is my music favorite. And my favorite music, my favorite music favorites, but the music I have been listening to on repeat is Underwater Meadows, the album by Wavy McGrady. Yes, he is my boyfriend, but I promise it's really, really good. The songs on it are just like all so different and so unique and like his sound is just so different. Like no other artist has his like sound and I think he's incredibly talented. He's also very cute. So if you don't know who he is, check him out. Um, he's on all platforms, Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud, YouTube. But yeah, um, I just wanted to give him a little shout out because I think he's fantastic. He works his booty off and I think you should all go check him out because he's great. And I also have a crush on him. So, But yeah, I think that was all my favorites. I kind of had a lot. Sorry if this video is really, really long. But what can I say? Just been loving life lately, been loving lots of things. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you check out these products because they are really, really great and I wouldn't talk about them unless I really loved them. I hope you all are staying safe and healthy and happy. But yeah, let me know if you wanna see more of these or any other videos you want to see from me and I'll talk to you real soon. Peace out, Girl Scouts.